Hi, I'm Carly from Close to My Heart, and today on Art Booking Made Easy, we are going to take a look at the You and Me themed keys, which as the name implies, is one of our love or valentine keys. If you're following along with me at home, these keys are found on pages 58 and 59 of the Art Booking booklet. Now I have three layouts to show you, so let's get started. First, let's take a look at this fun You and Me layout. Right away, what does your eye go to? If you're like me, you said the zebra print. Let me show you how we did this. This effect was created using the zebra print overlay and our cotton candy reinker and rubbing alcohol. Now the way that you can do this, and you can take any of our overlays, so I have selected the zebra print one, and you can just lay it over the area that you are going to spritz. So you can see how that just covers up that colonial white area. And when you pull it away, then you will see the area that you've spritzed. Now how I did it is I mixed cotton candy reinker and rubbing alcohol in one of our spray pens. And the reason that I chose to use rubbing alcohol, because you can use water, is it gives it more of a concentrated look and gives it that softer, softer look so you don't have all of the little droplets from a spritz pen. So if you want the droplets, you can use water, but I like rubbing alcohol to achieve this soft look. Now while that is drying, you'll want to cut your other Cricut shapes, do your distressing and your stamping, and get your photos ready. Now all of the Cricut shapes and titles on this layout, except for the overlay that I just showed you, were cut using the real dial size feature. This means that the shape, border, or title are cut at the size you enter rather than cutting at the linked proportional size to the finished layout. If you're making this at home and want to do something similar, play around with the shapes and sizes to fit your photos and the theme of your layout. For this layout, I wanted to use the photo mat as a frame to highlight this photo here. And because the photo mat is square and my photo is four by six, I decided to use real dial size and I chose to cut it at four inches and place it over my four by six photo to highlight this tender moment. This is what the frame looks like when it's cut at the proportional size. So you can see how I was able to size it down to highlight the area that I wanted to. Now for the title, I wanted to use the you and me as my main title over here, but I really like the my valentine title too that I have over here. So I cut it at one and a half inches using real dial size so that it was an accent rather than the main title. And you can see how it looks when it's cut at the proportional size it's much larger, but this way I was able to use it as a fun little accent to my paper cluster. And it's kind of the same thing with the You and Me title. When I cut it, I just cut it at the size that I wanted it to be so that it, it went the way that I wanted it to with my layout. Now, another fun thing that I have on here are these paper doll people down here. And I've used them to create this fun little paper cluster, including the My Valentine title. But when they're cut at the proportional size, you can see that they are much smaller. So they're just little teeny. But I wanted to make them stand out a little bit more, so I cut them at two and a half inches. And then I backed them with this sassy heart back here that actually cuts out tiny and when you cut it proportional to go with the little paper people. So you can see how I've used this heart, cut at two and a half inches real dial size as well to back my paper couple right here to add a little more oomph and fun to this layout. Now to finish this layout, once your reinker has dried and all of your Cricut shapes and paper pieces and accessories are prepared, all you have to do is assemble and you're ready to go. Now let's talk about this Hello I Love You layout over here. This comes from those same keys, pages 58 and 59. And if you've watched our Art Booking Made Easy episode 14 about our friendship keys, you'll already know how to do this inking technique with the pigment ink pads. But if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, all you do is just run your pigment ink pads along your cardstock or your paper. Now a fun tip about this or a way that will help you get a, a nice saturated look is if you start in the center of where you want your streak to be and pull your ink pad outward the way that you want it to go, that will help give you that even look. And to get these fun wispy edges at the end, when you're pulling your ink pad along, you just lift it up toward the end and that'll help give you that look. You'll also be able to layer the colors. You can see this fun ombre effect using multiple ink pads. You can layer them along and as you're adding the ink, just layer it right over the edge and it will help blend it all together to give you that fun technique. Now, I did say that I had three layouts. So, you can see this third layout here. 
that uses the same keys. And it is super cute. You can see that I've used it to highlight a couple, another couple, or a baby. So these keys are really versatile and really fun. And if you want more details on this layout or either of these layouts, all you need to do is visit Jeanette Linton's blog and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook to learn more about the art booking cartridge. If you would like to purchase the art booking cartridge for your own creative paper crafting, contact your close to my heart independent consultant.